Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to North Ranch. Let's check out this model, but again, before we do, right here's the link, right here is the QR code for my free mobile app. You can scan it on your phone, completely free to use. You will get home sent directly from the MLS. Before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com, let's check out this one. So, this is a pretty neat community. Before we get into this one again, if you are thinking about buying new, want to buy new, considering buying a new home, make sure to call a realtor first before going into the models and speaking with the sales associates before filling out information online. Because if you do, you don't bring an agent with you, you're gonna work directly with the builder. The salespeople actually have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder, so they don't represent you. And if you want representation and fun fact as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission, the builder does. Give me a call, all my info down in the description below. So this is a Dell Web community. It is age restricted. It is a 55 and older community, but you actually don't have to be 55 and older to move in here. You just can't have kids, you need HOA approval, but I've actually had buyers do it before. This one we're looking at today is the peak it is 1,509 square feet, two bed, two bath, two car garage. You get the covered patio, and then you get a flex space or an optional third bedroom. This one starts at 344,990. Cool little outdoor patio, I guess. Kind of interesting how it's right up here, and then you have to go all the way back. Now do me a huge, huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps the channel. It helps videos get pushed out to people. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Try to put out new tours every single day. Now I just filmed the Lennar community and they had, I'm gonna back up, the door way back here on the side. And a lot of people, let's say commented on it. But I'm curious again, because I know we get so many new subscribers, so many new viewers. Would you be okay with the door being way back here on the side of the property? Leave a comment down below letting me know. It was almost an overwhelmingly no, but there were some good points left. Someone said if this home was on a, a corner lot, then yeah, it would make sense. But I want to know, leave a comment down below. So before we check out the kitchen, let's go this way. Now HOA here. It is about 190 a month. You do get big amenities like the clubhouse, pool, bocce ball, all of that kind of stuff. It is a gated community up here in the Northeast. So I don't know if this would be the flex or that third room because this would be a very, very small room. The only thing that I could think of, well, I don't know where they would put the closet. If they put the closet right here, that would be awfully tiny. It works really, really well as an office, actually. They do have a big window. They're doing the can lighting again. I'm gonna guess this has somewhere between like 10 and 15% put into it, including the lot premium. So we're looking at something probably, what, 45, let's say 400,000, maybe a hair more, but at least that's what the sales associate said. So figure right around 400,000, not including the backyard though. So maybe 415, 420, 425. The flooring is 100% optioned up. I will tell you as many as I can. So should we go all the way down and work our way back? We'll start here actually. We have our coat closet combo linen closet. So Let's close that on up and keep on going. Right here's our two car garage. Unfortunately, I can't open them. They keep them locked. They store things in there. And then right here, I'm guessing bathroom. Yep. Oh, this is actually pretty big because how far back it is. Now I'm noticing on this house and I want to spin back around. They have the option to do 90 degree or a bull nose. So if you want the more modern look, with the square edges, you can do that. If you want the more, I guess, traditional look with the bull nose, you can do that as well. So first bathroom. These are definitely upgraded cabinets. They're not bumper, but they are the modern face ones. So upgraded cabinets. You can always go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get the hinges later. And fun fact, little secret, it's cheaper to do so. Standard countertop, 
does look like they've upgraded the faucets a bit. They did the dark. I'm such a fan of like the brown with the dark. And then we have our toilet. Now they did slightly upgrade this. Normally it's going to be a fiberglass composite tub shower combo. That's a fiberglass pan. You can do tile, you can do zero threshold or curbless. So there's a lot you can do. Again, standard is going to be tub shower combo. There is your shower head. They even have a soap shelf. Makes me happy. And we have our towel rack. Nice first bathroom. This is actually cultured marble in the shower. A lot of people like that or the fiberglass. I know the stone is nicer, but just so you know, it is easier to keep clean. Coming on into the first bedroom, nice size bedroom. And again, with these nine foot ceilings, it's gonna make it feel bigger. You have your window. They did the can lighting again. Yeah, there's a third one. The fourth one is above me. We have a full size bed, two nightstands. There is plenty of room on this side. We have our two door closet. And again, if you need more space, you move that bar up, add a second one below, you've doubled your closet space. They even did a different texture here. They have different wall textures available compared to the other model I was just in. We have our dresser. I like these homes. I really like these homes. I know they build also with Party, their like sister com uh, company. I know most people want these massive houses, but I know a lot of people, this is all they want who don't necessarily want to be in 55 and older communities. I wish they would build these as well. Also the price point at some of these other communities is just out of control. So before we check out the kitchen, living, dining, let's go ahead and see that master suite. So really quickly, you can get a big slider if you want. They didn't do it here, but you will get the covered patio. And while we're here really quickly, you need to budget for the backyard. You're going to get pavers here. You will get the pre-wire cap, but everything out there as far as landscaping will be dirt. Average backyard is somewhere between 13 and $15,000. Now this backyard, they did not put a lot into, I'll be honest, it's mainly rock, they put some planters. This is definitely like maybe even 10 at most, I would say. Rock does add up, but there is not a lot back there. But you will need to budget for that backyard. This backyard is pretty big. You could easily, easily put a pool, spa, heater, plus all of the landscaping. If you do that, expect to pay $40,000 for the pool before landscaping. So keep that in mind, you need to budget for the backyard. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Huge master suite. We have our dresser. We even have a little sitting area. You could almost put a couch over here. And then king size bed, two nightstands. They even tiled the wall. And I'm such a fan of these, like the pendant night lights. I think they're so neat. Normally, you will get the pre-wire cap like that, and then you can add any sort of ceiling fixture, whether it's a light, chandelier, fan, and then they even did can lighting in here. You even have the ability to put a slider in here. Whew, if the backyard was that big, I would almost want a slider because you have a lot of potential back there. So really, really nice size bedroom. They even did like most models, you have surround sound. But coming on into the master bath. This is nice. So same cabinetry. You have your undermounted sink. I know they can even do a picture frame mirror if you want. You have, and it's funny. They're actually doing it in some of the models and I believe it's an option because some of them don't have it. So you can do with or without the medicine cabinets, lots of storage in here. I actually like this window. I wish it was maybe just six inches higher because it is about eye height. So mm, semi Vegas window. And then what's funny, there's no towel bar in here, unless it's over by the toilet. Oh, this is even more interesting. So there's no door on the toilet. Your door's here. You can see the hinges. And then here is your shower, I guess shower only option. I, mm, that would be tight for a tub. You could probably do a tub in here. Tub shower combo would be standard. And then they upgraded to curbless. 
They got the bench, they have the valve, they have the shower head. So they tiled everything. I do believe they even have the ability to do a soap niche, but no door on the toilet. I guess there's no room to put it because it would hit your toes. So I almost wish though there was a light. I get why they didn't do it because they had to put the fan above it, but I almost wish it's kind of dark right here. So coming into the closet, decent sized closet, you have double bar and shelf, single bar, all of the storage, single and then double and it goes behind. So really nice size master bedroom. I feel like the bathroom is maybe just a little tight. I don't know, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Would this bug you that the toilet's open and only a door there? Um, not a deal breaker, but you also will have to be careful. They'll have to put like one of the hinge stoppers on these because if you open the door, you may smack the glass. So things to think about when buying. There's always little things. So keep those things in mind because this master suite is, oh, I guess there. There's really not room because that is the wall right there. Because this bedroom is really, really nice size. It just feels like the bathroom maybe just be lacking a little bit. But here we have our living space. And I feel like sometimes I'm so torn. I almost think, and again, let me know. Would you want the TV on this side? Or would you want the TV on this side? I almost think they could put the TV on this side and then do the couch here and then have the walkway behind because then you'd have the slider here. Let me know. I like when I see different angles, different sides. The only reason why I would switch it was because if the TV's over here, you could then watch it from the kitchen. But at the same time, if this kitchen's there, couch is here, then you can talk to everyone, see everyone. It's fun to mix and match. I know some of you leave really good ideas down below. We have our dining area, three huge, huge windows. Wow, really, really big windows. I feel like the dining area could be way bigger, like a big rectangle, because there is so much space here. You are definitely gonna want some sort of window coverings because everyone will be able to see in the house. But right before we check out this laundry area, right here we have, or not laundry area, our kitchen area. We have our laundry room. So washer dryer, they did quite a few upgrades in here again. They did the lower with the sink and even has a wand. And then they did the uppers. Normally it's just gonna be empty and then you'll get a shelf. And then right here's our smart panel. You put the router and modem in there. And in every bedroom, there is a cable jack and an ethernet jack. And those are where those end. So kitchen, really nice kitchen. They did the waterfall edge two inch on the face you would probably only be able to fit three bar stools in this one, but overall really, really nice looking kitchen. Really clean. So upgraded countertops, upgraded waterfall edge, again, upgraded cabinets. They did the backsplash. They did the lights underneath the counter or underneath the upper cabinets. We have what looks to be 42 inch uppers. I actually kind of like the trim at the top. They didn't do like the crown molding, but kind of still. Um, it's nice. So good amount of counter space in here. We have our oven. They have the ability to do double ovens if you would like to have that. We have our five burner cooktop. We have our microwave. Now they even have the ability to do pot fillers. So it does vent outside. With the pot filler, you'll have to get rid of the microwave because the pot filler will come right here. You pull it out, you fill it with the pot. But do note, if you get it with the pot filler, you need to use that line because otherwise the water will just stagnate in it and it will actually be, it will do more damage. So keep those little, little things in mind. We have, oh, they even did this. I love this. They did the trash can with the pull out drawer. We have our stainless steel undermounted sink. I actually kind of like the contrast of the brass with the white. Here's our view. This is why I was saying, I understand why they put the couch over there because then you can see everyone in this house. There's so much room up front. And then if we spin back around, this is kind of nice though. You have a little area for like an, 
espresso bar, but oh, I'm just noticing all of the outlets are hidden. Oh, that's awesome, because you don't see them. They're actually right there. So they hid the outlets. I think that's such a nice little clean touch. So you can do an espresso bar, and then they did like kind of a little bar area, but you even have more cabinetry. I like this. I'm a big fan of the hidden outlets. I think it just makes everything look cleaner. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this one. Leave a comment down below. Pretty nice. Again, age restricted, 55 and older community up here in the North East. If you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me again. All my contact down below. I'm also going to pin it as the number one comment, the pin comment. Do me that huge favor and make sure to hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. Again, both really help out the channel. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.